How's it going my bakers? I hope you're having an awesome day. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to convert yeast dough recipes to sourdough. So let's go to the kitchen and check it out. Converting a recipe to be made with sourdough pre-ferment is not as straightforward as converting one to yeasted pre-ferment. Yeast pre-ferments contain an insignificant amount of yeast. And when you do the calculations, you mostly concentrate on the flour and the water only. So there's only two variables to calculate. On the other hand, a sourdough starter and the leaven made from it is made up of three parts. The sourdough starter, fresh flour and fresh water. Now in some recipes, the starter does make up an insignificant amount, but in others, it can make up a large amount of the leaven. That complicates the calculation slightly, since there are three variables to take into account. And in order to calculate anything when it comes to a bread recipe, you need a good understanding of baker's percentage and dough hydration. And you can find an in-depth video about that in the Principles of Baking playlist. But let's move on to our example recipe. This is what the ingredients in a straight-through commercial yeast dough may look like. We have some white flour, whole wheat flour, water, salt and instant dry yeast. We want to take some of that flour, some of that water and pre-ferment them ahead of time. But instead of using dry yeast, we want to swap it out and use our trusty sourdough starter. If we want to do this effectively and consistently, then we must do this on paper first. And this is how I would do it. At the top of the page, we have the straight through yeast dough formula. There's 345 grams of white flour, 55 grams of whole wheat flour, 8 grams of salt, 260 grams of water and 4 grams of yeast. Now in baker's percentage, both the whole wheat flour and white flour make up 100%. 2% of salt, 65% water and 1% of dry yeast. Baker's percentage or baker's maps works exactly the same way in the main dough as well as in the pre-ferment. We're not using the yeast today, so we're going to cross it off right away. The first step of converting a recipe is figuring out how much of the flour we want to pre-ferment. A standard range is about 10 to 20% of the total flour in the recipe. I chose 15% for this example. To find out how much 15% is in grams, we multiply the total amount of flour by 0.15. There's 400 grams in total. 15% of 400 grams is 60 grams of flour. And that's the amount of flour in our pre-ferment. Now we need to figure out how much water there is in the pre-ferment. I decided to keep it at 65% to match the dough. So using Baker's maths, we take the total amount of flour in the pre-ferment times it by 0.65, which gives us about 40 grams of water. It's okay to round these numbers up or down. So adding up the flour and water gives us 100 grams. That is the total weight of the pre-ferment. As I mentioned earlier, pre-ferment is made up of three parts, starter, flour and water. And that's where you need to come up with the ratio. Now I know that the leaven made from my starter at a 1 to 6 to 4 ratio will be ready in about 10 hours. These numbers could change to anything, it does not matter, the calculations are still the same. So to work out the exact amount of each ingredient, first we add up the ratio of values, so 1 plus 6 plus 4 equals 11. You could say that's how many parts there are in this leaven. So next we take the total amount of leaven and divide it by that number, 100 divided by 11 is about 9. This means that one part of this leaven weighs 9 grams. To work out each ingredient, we simply multiply each of the ratio values by that number. So one part starter, 1 times 9 equals 9 grams of starter. Six parts flour, 6 times 9 equals about 54. I rounded up to 55 so I can use all the whole wheat flour. And finally, four parts water, 4 by 9 equals 36. Adding up those numbers, we get 100 grams. All you need to do now is subtract the amount of flour and water in the leaven from the yeast dough formula. That's how we divide it into two parts, the pre-ferment and the main dough. There's one last thing to consider, the hydration or the ratio of the starter that you're going to be making the leaven out of. My starter is always 100% hydration, so one to one. It contains equal parts flour and water. So the 9 grams of starter in my leaven are made up of 4.5 grams of flour and 4.5 grams of water. So that means that the hydration of the leaven has gone up to about 69%. I normally don't worry about this number too much. I care more about the ratio. The 65% from the beginning was just a means to getting to that 100 gram total, which makes for a nice and neat recipe. While the final formula for the whole dough is still at the right hydration once we subtract the leaven ingredients from the main dough. And here's another example. Let's say we want to convert a yeast pre-ferment to a sourdough one. The yeast pre-ferment in question here is a Polish, made with 100 grams of flour, 100 grams of water, 0.1 gram of yeast. So the hydration is 100%, the ratio is 1 to 1, and the total amount is 200 grams. It has two variables. 11 has three variables. So for Polish, that will be 1 to 1 to 1. Once again, we add up the ratio values 
and then divide the total amount of prefmen by that number. So 200 divided by 3 is about 66. And that's how many grams each of the ingredients will weigh. But let's say we want to convert to a different ratio. Let's say we want it to be the same as in the previous example, 1 to 6 to 4. Converting from yeasted prefment is much simpler because we already know the total weight of the prefment, which in this case is 200 grams. So adding up the ratio of values, we get 11. 200 divided by 11 is about 18. And now we just multiply each value by that number. And the resulting prefment comes to about 198 grams, which is close enough. So let's get back to the recipe. Of course, I wrote this formula basically backwards, so that it would look nice. I planned this from the beginning, that I'll use all the whole wheat flour in the recipe for my leaven. But that doesn't matter. The calculations that I showed you earlier still work the same. And I'm sure there are ways of doing this more simply. This is just how I do it. And sometimes I don't even use these formulas. I mean, you don't have to stay true to the hydration of the original recipe. It's totally up to you. It's just that if you take shortcuts, do consider the fact that the final dough might be different. But of course it will be different anyway, because we are pre-fermenting flour. And flour that is pre-fermented breaks down, and it makes the final dough looser anyway. So converting recipe from yeast to sourdough is not just about the numbers. Everything will change. The method, the fermentation times, perhaps the temperatures. The resulting bread will have different tastes and texture. I'm sure there can be simpler ways of doing this on paper. This is just how I do it. I like to know how much of the total flour I will pre-ferment. Now some bakers don't calculate it this way. They calculate the total amount of pre-ferment in relation to the total flour in the recipe. So in my example, 15% of the total flour was pre-fermented. A different way would be by calculating the total amount of ingredients in the pre-ferment in relation to the total amount of flour. And that would make it a 25% pre-ferment. Since the pre-ferment is 100 grams in total, it is a quarter or 25% in relation to the total amount of flour. And I can see how that could be simpler, because you know the total amount of ingredients from the get-go. So all you do is decide on the ratio and work out the individual amount of ingredients. And if you are used to this system, it makes total sense. I, on the other hand, always like to come up with a percentage of flour that I'm going to pre-ferment first. It does add another step to the calculations, but that's fine by me. I mean, it's not hard, is it? I would be interested to know how you do it. Do you decide the flour percentage to be pre-fermented, or you just decide the percent of pre-ferment? And if you haven't done it either way, I hope this wasn't too confusing for you. But here's the bread that we made. It is obviously very different from one that would be made with yeast. Don't forget to check out the sourdough bread playlist on my channel. You'll find quite a few nice recipes there, and plenty of sourdough bread principle videos. And always check out the principles of baking playlist, where I have general principles for all breads. And follow the link below the video for a written article. You'll find all the formulas written down in there, along with anything else I forgot to say in this video. So what do you think of my convoluted calculations? Have you tried converting yeast dough recipes to sourdough? Let me know down in the comments. If you want to see more videos like this one, click over here. Subscribe to the channel, click right here. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.